We are still in the midst of the World Leaders Summit here at COP28, hearing from heads of state. You may hear the helicopters in the background. Amid that, and with more climate finance pledges flowing, today has seen a slew of energy initiatives from the COP presidency. The biggest of these, building on the G20 New Delhi Declaration, where countries agreed to pursue tripling renewable energy capacity, the presidency has announced 118 countries, at last count anyway, have joined a pledge to triple renewable energy capacity to at least 11,000 gigawatts by 2030 and to double the annual global average rate of energy efficiency. There is also an oil and gas decarbonisation charter signed by 50 companies. We have seen seven more countries joining the Powering Past Coal Alliance, set up to help accelerate the phase-out of coal-fired power plants, the dirtiest and most polluting of our fossil fuels. The COP28 president, Dr Sultan al Jaber, has also called for the oil and gas industry to align around the 1.5 degree temperature goal. That is an important reminder of why we are here. We are here, COPs are here to further the world's efforts on decarbonisation. Without reductions in emissions, we will not meet that 1.5 degree target. We need emissions to peak by 2025 and a cut of 43% in emissions by 2030 if we are to meet that goal. That target is needed for many countries already under severe impacts from climate change just to survive. Mm -hmm.